you sir are weak and you're insecure and you deserve to be Yo, 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 it's your boy Donny's Dimension, you know, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, let's get into it. You deserve to be weak and insecure. For the people that clicked off, good boys, run away from your problems. <laughs> nice to see that the, <clears throat> the rats left. <laughs> but for the remaining folk that are still watching and their egos didn't, you know, just start crying like little Jeffries and... They ran away, nice. This may sound quite harsh at first, but we need to take a minute to reflect on how we got here. Why are we weak and insecure? And why should we be? If we actually analyze what makes us weak, and we look at it, if we look at what made us insecure little festering rats, leeching on society and people, I can simply break it down into three things. Number one, our habits slash routine <clears throat> as you know uh, our daily habits form a big part of ourselves if we are sitting there just wasting our time on binging Netflix Instagram all of these dopamine instant gratification platforms we are wasting our lives we are wasting our potential you are wasting your potential because you're sitting down and we have it we we're so reverse minded where we think oh we're gonna sit and watch netflix because we haven't got anything to do no actually is is we're not doing anything so we're gonna waste our time by watching netflix by playing video games by eating junk food being unhealthy not going to the gym sitting on the couch well i'm guilty of this myself you know i know i'm preaching a little bit but It's looking at if you want to be better, if you seriously want to get onto self improvement, which I'm really, I'm going hard at it, boys. Like, mashallah, like, I'm seeing games that like, I can't even lie. But <laughs> moving on, um, back into the topic, your habits and routine will set out what you do with your day. If you wake up uh, at late times, you don't get your eight hours of sleep. You're messing up your mental mind, my boy. You're messing up your body recovery. Your body doesn't get to get the rest it deserves. You don't realize that it's really detrimental to your mental health and your mental state when you don't get your eight hours of sleep, when you're not eating the proper foods and you're just filling yourself up on chocolate and crisps, Pringles, bro, sensations, like all of that tasty junk crap. And then you're not being productive either. But then you make the excuse. Oh, I go to school, I go to I go to college, I go to uni, I ain't got time to like work on my purpose or your own ventures. Shut up bro. Just excuses bro. Get that out of here man. You have at least you have 24 hours in a day. You sleep for eight hours eight hours. Right? You have 12 more hours. Maybe I don't know, however long you need to go to the toilet, take up an hour. Travel to like an hour or two. Bro, you still, and then you have your work. Cut, do four hours or however long. But when you have your free time, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna sit down and relax? Or are you gonna put in the work to get to where you want? Our habits and our routine made us who we are today. And who we will be in future depends on what we are doing with our time and time management. Number two, our environment and the world we grew up in. Modern day is so tough. For most people now it's so it's so easy and pleasurable but it's it makes weak men nowadays it makes weak people tough times create tough men tough men create easy times easy times create easy men soft weak men soft weak men create hard times so the world we live in today bro it's crazy people will be going out there they only want to get a girlfriend or wife they they want to freaking they want to, they want to go and get the the new sex doll three thousand. Like get out of here, man! I, I can't. Like, I'll be clowning. I'll be clowning these like beta. Like I'll say it's beta. Like oh my, these, these weak, just weak men, man. Like spending their time on OnlyFans and it's, god damn, like it's crazy. It's actually it's genuinely crazy. So our environment and the world we know today 
the world that we live in, it will factor in how we perceive our lives. If we have all these dopamine gratifications, who's going to take the time to read a book and get knowledge? If you have Netflix, then why bother working on your business? Watch somebody else's success story or watch Will Smith. <laughs> Don't bother trying to make yourself into the businessman you want to be or nah man, louder. Go, that's long in it. Bun the next two years because the two years are gonna go by anyways. Nah, don't don't work and try and put two hours, four hours into building a business every single day. Just go on Netflix, man. Long thing. Number three, this ties into environment as well. But our upbringing and our our parents. Depending on how your parents raise you, you're gonna gain a lot of habits and a lot of the things your parents do. You will, you will copy and imitate. It's just how life works. My mum was a big foodie, I became a big foodie. I loved food, food is life to me. <laughs> my mum is is really like awesome when it comes to her entertainment. Like she, she is, my mum has amazing taste in entertainment. I have an amazing taste in entertainment. It's, you know, simply if your parents aren't, if your parents are so lax with you, they don't give you responsibility. Your parents don't tell you to take, take accountability for yourself. Your parents don't take accountability for you, or of themselves even. Then no wonder that you're just some soft, pillow, squishy bro, weak man. Like, what do you expect? All your life, your mum and dad just said, Oh, don't worry, don't worry, we'll take care of the rest. This is hotel for you. This is hotel. You come, you stay in the hotel. You don't do anything. You just sleep when you want to. What do you expect, bro? <laughs> you live in a hotel, literally. What do you do to provide? Nothing, bro. You don't even work on yourself. You deserve to be weak and insecure. You deserve to have low confidence if that's what you're doing with your time, man. But if you're serious about this self-improvement thing, you will change your routine. You will go the other way from the outside world. I know it's hard, but you will, where there's a wall, there's a way. You will not do what the 99% are doing. You will actually put a price tag on your time. You will value your time. Number three, your parents and upbringing. You gotta learn to deprogram yourself, my boy. So much propaganda has been put into our heads since the day we were born. Since the day we knew how to read, so much crap has been put into our brains to make us weak and soft. We have to start taking out the wiring that and, and breaking it down. Well, we have to break down the crap that has been inserted into our, into our brain that has to cap our belief system. We need to stop that, man. We need to start rewiring it ourselves. Begin your own self-education process if you really want to get better. Anyways, seriously, begin your self-education for yourself. Make, your, make yourself, make your future self proud of your younger self for the time, work and effort research he put into this stuff this has been your boy dies dimension sign out